Now in today's video, we're going to be going over, do you need a camera rig? We're actually going to be going over my Sony FS5, what's going on there, what's on there, and some of the things that you can actually use or not use to actually make up your camera rig or, you know, not rig your camera. Let's talk about it. Do you need a camera rig like this? You don't necessarily need a camera rig like this to just shoot regular video. If you see what I'm shooting this video on right now, it's just my Sony a7 IV with a lens on it. No extra bells and whistles, only the live mics that are being inputted directly into the video file. You don't really need a camera rig unless you're looking to actually have a team to use your camera with you. Now you do have smaller camera rigs like handheld camera rigs, and shoulder mounted camera rigs but in this case scenario this is going to be more of a studio camera rig so let's go ahead and go over what's actually on my fs5 some of the things that make it a studio rig and some of the things that i kind of don't necessarily need to just shoot videos here in the office so firstly we're going to be talking about the body of the camera and that is of course the sony fs5 very old, very ancient camera, but it's still capable. If you haven't seen any of my FS5 videos, make sure you guys go and check the playlist. I will have it down in the description below and up in the cards. Now, I've talked a lot about the Sony FS5, so we're not going to go too in-depth on the camera system. Just know we're going to be using the Sony FS5 for this example of a camera rig. Now, the next thing I do have on there is the Sigma 24-70 f2.8. Now, this is my go-to lens. Either it's here on my Sony a7 IV or on my FS5. Now, it is a actual full-frame camera lens and the actual FS5 is a crop sensor camera. So that is around 37 millimeters, but when using this in the studio, I can basically place it wherever and I don't necessarily have to worry about 24 not being 24. Next we have on the camera is going to be the Tilta matte box. Now this is a mini matte box and I wanted to get this to actually adapt on multiple types of lenses. Comes with you know step up and down rings and I'm actually able to put it here on my Sony a7 IV if I wanted to within seconds so it's really a good addition to a camera rig. Now the only reason you're going to be needing that is if you're shooting anything outside so Honestly, it being on the camera right now is nothing but a visual upgrade. Now, with all that being said, we do have the Atomos Ninja V up top. Now, I don't necessarily use this too much on my Sony FS5, and that's because the file sizes coming out of the Sony FS5 internally are pretty small, and anything I record to the Ninja V is going to be either double or triple the size, so I would rather just go with that smaller file size. But as you can see here, I do have the Ninja V on there, and if I am shooting to the Ninja V to get a different codec, I will be using a ProRes LT or ProRes 422. 422, of course, gives you higher file sizes, and LT gives you lower file sizes. Definitely not needed on a camera rig, especially if you're rigging a Sony FS5. Clearly has a viewing monitor, and that gives you way more, probably, additions than you would get, especially shooting something like on the a7 IV, you don't get all of the waveforms, the shutter angle and all of that on this camera. So shooting on this, you don't necessarily need the Ninja V, but it is good to have something bigger to actually frame your shots up. Now on the back here, you do see that we do have a 95 watt Andy Cine V mount battery. Now this isn't needed as well. Only reason I have this on here is just to give me extra longevity, extra, you know, battery power and I not have to actually sit there and swap out batteries left and right. And it is sitting on an Andy Cine V-mount plate. And under the camera, we do have a small rig rail adapter, which is also adapted to a Manfrotto plate. And that's how I have it here on the tripod. Now that's gonna be the whole camera rig. Now, do I need any of that on this camera to actually run it? Honestly, no. You can actually take the Sony FS5, a lens, a regular battery, regular SD card, and it's on board, you know, viewing monitor. And you can actually go out and shoot just about anything like you would with a smaller Sony Alpha camera. Now, this camera is actually really, really small when you actually take all of the stuff off of it. So I would say taking everything off the FS5, it can become a really, really, really small running gun camera, something close to the Sony Alpha cameras. And of course it puts you in the line of the FX6, which came out afterwards. And of course you got all those newer 
updates on that camera but the FS5 was literally ahead of its time when it came out with the form factor built-in ND filters just about everything you will need of course if you were looking for a cinema camera So yeah guys, that's going to be my Sony FS5 camera rig and basically if you need a rig or if you don't need a rig, remember you will need a rig if you're doing anything with a team oriented or a team behind the camera. Now if you're just running and gunning or doing anything for YouTube, you don't necessarily need a camera rig so this is literally overkill. Me, myself, I like to put things on there that are actually going to get utilized and not just you know making the camera look as good as it possibly can. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you have any questions, concerns, or you want to talk to me, go ahead and put those down in the comments below. Make sure you guys hit that description. Check out all of my other Sony FS5 videos. Hit that subscribe button if you just so happen to be new. And hit that like button if you just so happen to like the video. I'll see you guys on the next one.